Facebook Live, Facebook Live, we have arrived one more time for our uh, Bible study. It's Bible Study Wednesday, y'all. <clears throat> search, search the scriptures Wednesday. Just getting in from the gym, but duty calls, so here we go. Let's get it in. Um, we're picking up the Bible study from last time. We were dealing with, uh, I believe, baptism. That's what I think. Anyway, here we go. Um, let's pick it up. And there was a question on the table from one of the family members with lines of what we're teaching anyway. So it's befitting to, uh, you know, to deal with it. So let's let's uh, let's dive into it, y'all. We're gonna deal with the deity of, uh, I guess, the Mashiach, or yeah, however we're gonna attack it. So here we go. Um, let's start off with a prayer. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you. Oh, hold on. We ain't even started yet, huh? Let's get started. Conference muted. Conference recording started. I want to think about the chime and then this is Watchman Yahuda Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Mann on the evening scripture study on this 15th day in May 2019. This is the day where we have our our scripture study. We actually, you know, thumb through scriptures, search the scripture in, then we think we have eternal life and or um, studying to see if these things be so. So we're going to deal with the deity of the Most High or the Yahid. We'll probably be dealing with this for a while, to be honest. I can see this getting uh, a little lengthy, which which is which is good, you know. Which is which is is it is not a bad thing, right? So I'm trying to see which way I want to go with this. So uh, part one, two, three, four. We'll, we'll see what happens, but. Uh, Yeah. Let's go here, friend. Okay, we're going to John 1. Y'all get your pens and paper. Let's go to John 1. Look at it. Look what it say. Y'all can not want. Watch this. And, and, and uh, a good way to learn the word is let the word speak for itself. It, it would help you so much. If you were able to do that, y'all be prayerful because this is going to take y'all to do some uh, revealing. So just, just know, just know that. Anyway, here we go. <clears throat> Look what it say. In the beginning, you know, was the word. So for, for, for starters, Um, the main topic is the word right here. Because that's where it starts. In the beginning was the word. What's the main topic? The word. Okay. Now, um, The scripture, Yachanah, John is the one talking. And, and he's the one that is recording through Revelation, in the beginning was the word. And him describing the word is what he's about to do. He say, the word was with Yah. Now, from a practical human standpoint, 
you automatically see two. When you see the word with. And I, and I understand that. And I also agree. You know, you know, you know, 100%. And, and the word was Yah. That's where it get a little tricky again. Right? So, so, the, so the main topic is the word. That's the main topic. The time frame is in the beginning. Isn't that what it said? In the beginning was the word. Okay. So the time frame is the beginning. The main topic is the word. And the description of the word is it was with Yah. It got a little more complicated when it said, and the word was Yah. The reason why it got complicated is because the word is true. And the word clearly said it ain't number one Elohim. Did y'all know that? Um, if we look at Deuteronomy, y'all, I hope y'all got pen and paper, right? I hope y'all got pen and paper because I'm finna, we go in there today and I want y'all to take notes because I really want y'all to get a revelation of your creator, right? So Deuteronomy 6 and 4 says, Hear, O Israel, Yah our Elohim is one Ahad. King James Version says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. One. He, he, he's one. Right? He's one Ahab. He, 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 Ahab means one. Right? Look at uh, uh, Corinthians, right? 1 Corinthians 8. And six, I just want y'all to get this, right? But first Corinthians eight and six says, But to us there is one Elohim, the Father, of whom are all things, and we are in him, and one Mashiach, one Adonai, Yahushua the Mashiach, by whom are all things, and we by him. Right? So the issue becomes when the Most High is describing himself and the Word is describing him as one. And, and, and there appears potentially to be two. Right here, we can stretch it out to three in a second, but it appears to be a dilemma if the Word is saying he's one. Watch this. Let's go to Ephesians, right? Ephesians 4. Ephesians 4 and 4 says, There is one body and one spirit. How many spirits is it, y'all? Is it three? Ephesians 4 and 4 says, There is one body and one ruah. That ain't number one, right? One body and one spirit. It's one body and it's one spirit. Even as you are called in the one hope of your calling. One Lord. How many Lords is it? How, how many Adonais is it? One. One faith, one baptism. One Elohim and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. How many Elohims is it? One. So... How you learn the word is trust the word and quit trusting people. You can't go in your th theological misunderstanding and make it two or three or, or more. The word says one. One Elohim, father of all, who's above all, through us all, and in us all. So let's keep it simple, though. So let's go back to Yachanan because John, y'all. Because now we got to make sense out of this, right? The word has to uh, uh, interpret itself. And it can, and it will, right? So look what it says. 
hold on, let me do this for the phone dials. That would be counterproductive. Look what it said. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with Yah. And the word was Yah. It ain't number one Elohim, right? So, so then how do we rectify the word being with Yah? How do we rectify that? In the beginning was the word. The word was with Yah. And the word was Yah. The same, the same what? Word. The main topic is the word. It didn't switch topics. The same was in the beginning with Yah, just like the first verse said. The same word was in the beginning with Yah. All things were made by him. Who is the him? The word. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. It's talking about the word. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In order for us to get a proper understanding of this, wouldn't it be safe to go to the beginning? I, that, that makes sense to me. Because the, the time frame is in the beginning. So all we got to do is go to the beginning. In the beginning was the word. The word was with Yah, and the word was Yah. The same was in the beginning with Yah. All things were made by him. Without him was not anything made that was made. So let's go to the beginning. Genesis 1. Look what it says. It says, in the beginning, Yah created the heavens and earth. Who created the heavens and earth? Yah did, right? In the beginning, Yah created the heavens and the earth. How we know? Because the word said it, right? In the beginning, Yah created the heavens and the earth. And earth was without form and void, and darkness upon the face of the deep. And the spirit of Yah moved upon the face of the waters. Okay, so now we got the spirit, right? How many of y'all read uh, uh, John 4 and 24, Yah 4 and 24? Didn't it say Yah is a spirit? Do we need to go read it? Just to keep it 100, why not? John 4 and 24, real quick, y'all. Just to keep it politically correct, right? John 4 and 24, look what it says. We're going to let the word be true and every man a liar. Yah is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Yah is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. So Yah is a spirit. Right? And we just read in Ephesians 4, right? In Ephesians 4 and 4, it says there is one body and one spirit. How many spirits is it, y'all? Can you say one? There's one body, one spirit, even as you're called in the hope of your calling. And the one hope of your calling, right? So they're number one. So look what they say. In the beginning, y'all created the heavens and the earth. Genesis, y'all. And the earth was without form and void and darkness upon the face of the deep. And the spirit of y'all moved upon the face of the water. Is that another person? Is that another uh, deity? Or is, is y'all the spirit that moved upon the face of the waters? Look what happened. And Yah said, let there be light, and there was light. How did Yah create light, y'all? He spoke it. He was speaking. Yah could talk. How did he create light? And Yah saw that the light was good and divided the light from the darkness. And Yah called. Is he speaking when he called? And Yah called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning was the first day. And Yah said, let there be a firmament. How did he create the firmament? Did he speak it? So in the beginning, he is speaking. He is talking. Right? Is he talking? Isn't he talking? So now, does John make more sense now? Let's read it. In the beginning was the word, Yah could talk. And the word was with Yah. Yah had a voice. Is you and your voice two people? Two persons? Is me and my? 
voice, two persons, or is it me talk? In the beginning was the word. The word was with Yah. My voice is with me. Your voice is with you. His words was with him. Is that two or one? In the beginning was the word. The word was with Yah. And the word was Yah. Now it makes sense, right? The word was Yah. The same was the beginning with Yah. He could talk. All things were made by him. If you read the creation story, he was speaking. All things were made by the word, and without the word, wasn't anything made that was made. In him was life. For first, y'all. In him was life. Who's the him? The word. Is the word Yah. The word said it was in the first verse. And the word was Yah. In him was life. The word, right? And the life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness. And the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from Yah whose name was Yachanan. Called him John, y'all. They called him John. There was a man sent from Yah whose name was John. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light. What's the light, y'all? It's the word. The, the, the word isn't bouncing around and all that getting, getting to understand it. The same came, the came, the same came for, to, 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 for a witness to bear witness of the light that all men through him might uh, believe. Let's establish that then. Let's go to uh, uh, Isaiah 40 right quick, y'all. Isaiah 40. I hope y'all got a pen. Look what this say. Forty and one. It said, "Cover ye, cover ye, my people." Saith Yah, speak ye comfortably unto Jerusalem and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished, that her iniquity is is pardoned, for she has received of Yah's hand double. For all her sins. The voice of him that crieth in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of Yah. Make, make straight in the desert a highway for our Elohim. Who is that talking about? The voice of him crying in the wilderness. Let's go see. Let's go to uh, John. Huh. <sighs> I think it's three, but let's see. I'm tripping two. Let's try two. Let me see. No. Man, come on. Uh, D. Let me see. Let me find it. Might be in Mark, huh? But let me see. Okay. Let's go to uh It is John one where we were. You know what I'm saying? And let's go down to the twenty nineteen first. And this is the record of John. When the Jews sent priests and Levites, excuse my vernacular, y'all, I'm, re I'm reading out the King James, okay? And I'm going to read it, just so I can teach this lesson, okay? And this is the record of John, when the Jews sent priests and Levites uh, from Jerusalem to ask him, who art thou? And he confessed and denied not, but confessed, I am not uh, uh, the Mashiach. 
and they and and they asked him, oh, "What then? Art thou Elias?" And he said, "I am not." Art thou the prophet? He said, "No." Then said they unto him, "Who art thou, that we may give an answer to them uh, that sent us? What sayest thou of thyself?" And he said, "I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make straight, uh, make straight the way of Yah, as saith the prophet Isaiah." And that's what we just read. So, 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 Yachanan, John is the voice of one crying in the wilderness, preparing the way of Yah. Who is he preparing the way for? Yah. Make a straight path in the desert and a highway for our Elohim. Read it. Isaiah 40 and 3. The voice of him crying in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of Yah. Make a straight path in the desert for, for uh, uh, make, make a straight path in the desert, a highway for our Elohim. Back to uh, uh, John 1, y'all. Look what it say. Six. There is a man sent from Yah whose name was John. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light. He was witnessing of the light. That's what he was sent for. That all men through him might believe. He was not the light. He wasn't the word. Remember, the, the word isn't changing the topic. You'll see as we keep reading, but you should know that from the beginning, right? But he was not the light. He was sent to bear witness of the light. That was the true light that lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world. Who is still talking about the light? Is still talking about the word. He was in the world, and the world was made by him. Ain't nobody made the world but Yah. And how he made it, we read, he spoke it. He was in the world and the world was made by him. Can you admit it? Yah is the one that made the world. He was in the world and the world was made by him and the world knew him not. And they still don't know him. Israel don't even know him. Most of them. The Gentiles. Having church, don't know him. Most of them. He was in the world and the world was made by him and the world knew him not. He came unto his own. Who was his own? Israel. And his own received him not. <laughs> but as many uh, as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of Yah. Are y'all with me? I lost my place, y'all. As many as has received to them gave he power to become the sons of Yah, even to them that believed on his name which were born not of blood, nor the will of the flesh, nor the will of man, but of Yah. Look at the 14 verse, y'all. And the word was made flesh. Are you with me? And the word was made flesh. The word was born of Mary. Miriam is a real name, but Mary. And the word was made flesh, born of a virgin, took on a body and the world was made flesh and dwelt among us as we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the father, full of grace and truth. Are you with me? And the word was made flesh in the beginning was the word. The word was with Yah. The word was Yah. Yah could talk. Yah and his word is not two. Yah is his word. He is what he say. And he created everything by speaking it. And that same word came, and, and, and John, Yachanan, was written of, prophesied of, even before he was born in Isaiah. That he would bear witness of that word. He would bear witness of Yah, making a path for Yah to come. And Isaiah was saying he was making a path for Yah. Come to find out, it was Yachanan making a path, the voice of one crying in the wind, making a path for the Messiah, the Yah man. Because the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. He was in the world and the world was made by him. And the world knew him not. 
and the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory, the glory of the Father, full of grace and truth. The only begotten of the Father. The only body that the Most High was born in. <laughs> Let's do more. 1 Timothy 3 and 16. Is y'all writing this down? Please write it down. Look what it says. And without controversy, great is the mystery of yawliness. Did y'all know it's a mystery? Folks have been serving him for years and years and years and still don't know who he is. And without controversy, great is the mystery of yawliness. Yah was manifested in the flesh. Who was manifested in the flesh, y'all? Was it Yah? Who, who was manifested in the flesh? Was it Yah? The word said it was Yah. Without controversy, great is the mystery of Yah. Yah was manifested in the flesh. Who was manifesting? How many Elohims is it, y'all? One? The one Elohim was manifested in the flesh. That would line up with uh, John 1 and 14, right? And the word was made flesh. Yah was manifested in the flesh. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And the word was made flesh. Yah was manifested in the flesh, justified in the spirit. Remember when, when the dove came down and the bowed upon him? Justified the spirit. Seen of angels. Remember after he fasted? Matthew 4, Matthew Yahoo 4. After he fasted, 40 days, 40 nights, after he was tempted the devil, angels came and ministered unto him. Seen of angels, preached on the Gentiles. Remember when he met that woman at the well? Preached on to the Gentiles. Believed on in the world. Didn't they believe him? And received up in the glory. Remember? On the mount, when, when, when he was sending up and the disciples were seeing him and the angels appeared and said, see him that's going up, you're going to see him come back in like manner, received up in the glory. All that happened to the Mashiach. Who is the Mashiach? The word was made flesh. Who is the Mashiach? Yah was manifested in the flesh. The only begotten, the only body that Yah was born in. He wasn't going to dwell in no temple made with hands no more. <laughs> it's a mystery. Let's look at it. Philippians 2, y'all. Philippians 2, um, and let's start uh, 5. Let this mind be in you was also in the Mashiach, Yahushua, who being in the form of Yah. Remember when Yah was in the form of a bush? Talking to Mose, to Moses. Who being in the form of Yah? What form of Yah was he? He took on a body. And the word was made flesh. Who being in, a, in, in the form of Yah thought it not robbery to be equal with Yah? Who was equal with Yah except for Yah? Being fashioned as a man. Who being in a form, he reduced himself, humbled himself. But letting it, letting it be known, thought it not robbery to be equal with him, because he was him. But, 7th verse say, but made himself of no reputation. He was equal with him, but he made himself of no reputation, because he was found fashioned as a human being. Let this mind be in you was also, which was in the Mashiach, Yahushua, who being in a form, in a reduced state of being, 
who being in the form of Yah, thought it not robbery to be equal with Yah, but made himself, he did it to himself, made himself of no reputation, and it took upon him, he took upon him the form of a servant. It was made in the likeness of men, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Without controversy, great is the mystery of Yahliness. It was Yah that was manifested in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached on the Gentiles, believed on the world, and received up in the glory. Who being in the form of Yah, thought it not robbery to be equal with Yah. Ain't nobody equal with Yah but Yah. But he made himself of no reputation. He did it. And took upon him the form of a servant. He took upon himself the form of a servant. And the word was made flesh. And was made in the likeness of men. Look what they first say. And being found fashioned as a man. Who was foul fashioned as a man? The word, wasn't it? And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Unless you're going to let Timothy tell it. Without controversy, greatest the mystery of Yah, and it's Yah was manifested in the flesh. Yah being found fashioned as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient on the death, even the death of the cross, the King James Version say, the struos, the torture step. Wherefore, Yah also have highly exalted him, giving him a name which above every name. The name of the Messiah is above every name. Every name. Why? Because it's Yah's name. Yahusha. Yah is salvation. Why is his name above every name? How in the world could the son's name be above the father's name unless it's the same name? Well, you don't get that revelation when you call him Jesus. You get the revelation when you call him by his name. Yah. Hallelujah. You was taught in church that the highest praise is hallelujah. Why? Because you saying praise ye Yah. And without controversy, great is the mystery of Yahliness. It was Yah that was manifested in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen as angels, preached on the Gentiles, believing on the world, and received back up into Kabbalah, in the glory. Huh? And being found fashioned as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient on the death, even the death on that cross. They call it a cross, y'all. Roman torture stake, huh? Wherefore, Yah also highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every name. That at the name of Yahusha, at the name of Yahusha, every knee shall bow of things in heaven, every knee of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. That every tongue shall confess that Yahushua, the Mashiach, is uh, Yah, <laughs> is the Messiah, is Master. To the credit, to the glory of Yah the Father. Are you with me? Are you with me? I hope y'all with me. Uh, let's get it then. We finna get, uh, Let's go to Isaiah 45 and 23. What is this? Isaiah 45 and 23. Let me see. 
Isaiah 45 and 23. Let's see here. Look what it say. Uh, let's start the 21st verse, 22nd verse. No, 21st. No, 20. <laughs> All right, 45 and 20. Look what it say. Assemble yourselves and come. This is Isaiah, y'all. Uh, assemble yourselves and come, draw near together, ye that are escaped from the nations, they that have no knowledge that set up the wood of their graven images and pray unto a God that cannot save. Tell ye and bring them near, yea, let them take counsel together, who have declared this from ancient time, who have told it from that, from that time, have not, have not I... Elo, uh, have not I Elohim? Is there no Elohim else besides me? A just Elohim and a savior? And there is none besides me? Look on to me and be ye saved. All the ends of the earth. For I am Yah and there is none else. I have sworn by myself the word is gone out of my mouth in righteousness and shall not return that unto me every knee shall bow and every tongue shall swear. <laughs> what that say? I have sworn by myself the word is gone out of my mouth in righteousness and shall not return. That unto me every knee shall bow and every tongue shall swear. Let's look at Philippians again, y'all. And nine. Wherefore Yah also hath highly exalted him and given him a name that's above every name, that the name of Yahushua, Every knee shall bow. Woo! Ain't that what Isaiah said? What's going to happen to Yah? And only to Yah? And the word has went out of his mouth in righteousness and will not return void? That every, that, that at the name of Yahushua, every knee shall bow of things in heaven and things in the earth and under the earth. And that every tongue shall confess, that swear, just like Isaiah said. That every tongue shall confess that Yahushua is Yah to the glory of Yah the Father. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have also obeyed, not in my presence only, but now more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Did y'all hear that? Did y'all write that down? I'm going to be doing this for a minute, though. I just thought. I'm going um, to be working on this. I'm going to be working on this. Um, in the beginning was the word. Y'all can now one, y'all. And the word was with Yah. And the word was Yah. It was Yah, Yah. And he won. And ain't, ain't number one. And ain't number one. <laughs> okay, I can go further. I wasn't going to. I'm a, I'm, let, let's rock for a few more minutes. Okay, so I'm going to go further. I'm going to go further. Um, look at this. 
I'll show you all this. Look what it say. Look at that. Let me angle myself. Look what it said. Let's go to Isaiah some more. <clears throat> Look at this. Let me show you this. Isaiah 43. Isaiah is delivered all through the book, though. We can hit, you know, several books. But look what it say, y'all. Isaiah 43 and 10. Let's start at 10 first. Look what it says. It says, <clears throat> You are my witnesses, says Elohim, and my servants whom I have chosen. Now he's talking to his servants, the, the, one, the chosen ones, right? That you may know and believe me. And he said, know and believe me. Don't believe people. You know, you know, let, let, let y'all be true, but every man a liar. Don't, don't run around. You mess with these people, theology, you're going to be all tore up. I'm tired. Anyway, rule, I move, appeal your children away from uh, these religious folk and their doctrine and Yahushua's name. Look, you are my witnesses, Yah, and my servants whom I have chosen, that you may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me, there was no Elohim formed. Before Yah, he said, there was no Elohim formed. Neither shall there be after me. There was no Elohim for, look, from, they tore up doctrine, right? They got God the Father, God the Son. And the, the God the Son was the begotten of the Father. Well, begotten of the Father mean he came from the Father after the Father. Quite naturally, he's the son, not the father. So the father was first. This kills that theology 100%. Don't, don't, what are you doing? I'm teaching. Okay. You are my witness, says Yah, and my servants whom I have chosen, that you may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me, there was no Elohim formed. Neither after me. There was no Elohim formed after him. So that God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, how did the God the Son and God the Holy Ghost get on the scene? When he said there was no Elohim formed before me, neither after Isn't this the Father talking? There was no Elohim formed before or after. You are my witness, says Yah, my servants whom I have chosen, that you may... No, and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me, there was no Elohim form. Neither shall there be after me. Look what he's saying. I, even I, am Yahuwah. And besides me, there is no Savior. No, you don't. Ain't one. He said, I'm the Savior. If you learn the Messiah's name, it means Yah is the Savior. <laughs> In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with Yah and the Word was Yah. He was in the world and the world was made by him. When was Yah the creator of the world in the world? The 14th verse said the Word was made flesh. It was Yah. The Word was made flesh. The word was made flesh. I'm going to teach on that next time. I'm not going to touch that right now. <laughs> and without controversy, greatest the mystery of Yahliness, it was Yah. <laughs> it was Yah that was manifested in the flesh. And without controversy, greatest the mystery of Yahliness, Yah was manifested in the flesh. It was Yah. The one and only Yah. You're my witnesses, Yah, my servants who have chosen that you may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me there was no Elohim for him, neither shall there be after me. I, even I am Yahuwah. I'm Yah. And besides me, there is no Savior. There ain't one. There isn't one. If, if, if it ain't number one spirit, if he didn't say number one spirit, 
in one body and you're called in one hope of your calling. Ephesians 4 and 4. And they number one spirit. And Yah is that spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. In Ruah and in truth. Ain't number one spirit. Ain't number one Elohim. Right? Are you with me? At least can you remember ain't number one? In three persons, which one was first? Would they do draw straws and then the other one became the son? Because he's the, he's the son. Didn't the son say the father is greater than I? But but the Trinity doctrine say that they co-equal. Co-empowered. They have the equal amount of power. Where the son said the father is greater than I. <laughs> that doctrine won't stand up. <laughs> Crazy. I told you that Semiramis and her uh, uh, and Nimrod and, and Tammuz, some old Babylonian devil, uh, Satan did that, which is a whole nother lesson. You know, we can teach on what the devil did and how he came up with that, that triune doctrine. But right now, we're going to deal with what we're dealing with, which eats that doctrine as well. Every angle of truth kill that doctrine. And we're just going to let Yah do what he do. But Yah is talking to his chosen ones and say, you're my witnesses. I don't care what other folks say. You're my witnesses, Yah, my servants whom I've chosen, his chosen ones. That ye may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me, there was no Elohim form, neither shall there be after me. I, even I, am Yahuwah. And besides me, there is no Savior. There ain't one. I'd rather believe Yah than people. And that's for sure. No, you can't. Uh-uh. No, I'm using it right now. So I'm using both of them. Give me a minute. I'm almost done. Okay? All right. Go play. Go in your room or something. Please. Daddy almost finished. Are y'all with me? Let me give y'all one more scripture and then we're going to get out of here because the time is almost up anyway. Um, let's see here. Let's go to uh, let's go to Yachanan again, y'all. And uh, 18, just real quick, just to seal what we're talking about. John 18. <clears throat> Starting at 1, and then we're going to get out of here. Look what it says. 18 and 1. And, and when... When Yahushua had spoken these words, he went forth with his disciples over the brook of uh, Sidron, where was a garden into which he entered, and his disciples, and Judas also, which betrayed him, knew the place. And Yahushua oftentimes resorted thither with his disciples, and Judas then received a band of men and officers from the chief priests and Pharisees. He came with the police on the brother. Boy, that's cold, too. Coming thither with their lanterns and torches and weapons. And who should therefore, knowing all things that he should come upon him, went forth and said unto him, Whom seek ye? And, and they answered, Yahushua of Nazareth. And Yahushua said unto them, I am he. And Judas also, which betrayed him, stood with them. 
But as soon as he had said unto them, I am he, they went backwards and fell to the ground. Do you know what that was all about, y'all? As soon as he said on them, I am he, they went backwards and fell on the ground. Did y'all hear that? <laughs> Did y'all catch that? Didn't we just read that? Did y'all say, I am he? And besides me, there's none else? Look what also, look what else the Messiah said. Okay, then I'm really going to let y'all go. Look what this say. One last one, y'all. Let's go to John 8. Look what it say. Let's go to 20. Uh, 21. Ain't 21. Then Yahushua again said unto them, I go my way and you shall seek me and shall die in your sins. Where I go, you cannot come. Then said the Jews, will he kill himself? Because he said, to whether I go, you cannot come. And he said unto them, you are from beneath, I am from above. You are this world, and I'm not of this world. I said therefore unto you that ye shall die in your sins. For if ye believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins. Did y'all catch that? If you do not believe that I am he, you shall die in your sins. Didn't y'all say that he was the I am he? Um, I, I hope y'all wrote down the scriptures. And I hope you got something, um, you know, out of the word because... Um, yeah, the scriptures speak plain of the deity of the Mashiach and the Most High. And I hope y'all got it. <clears throat> um, yeah, I hope y'all got it. <sighs> and without controversy, greatest the mystery of Yahliness, it was Yah that was manifested in the flesh, justifying the spirit, you know, seen if angels preached on the Gentiles to believe on into the world. Because the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. It was the word that was made flesh and dwelt among us as we beheld his kabah, his glory, as of the only be as of the only begotten of the Father, full of uh, unmerited favor and truth. <clears throat> we need to know it. We need to know that the Mashiach is the I am he um, of the, of the, of Torah. Yeah. He's the only savior. Yah is the only savior. That's exactly what the Messiah's name means. Yah our salvation, Yah saves, Yah the Savior, and he's absolutely the only one. I pray that this truth, um, um, the Most High give you revelation, and we're going to double back, Yah permit, next Wednesday, and deal with some more of it. I probably take it, I probably teach from the Mashiach's point of view even more. So you'll understand the deity better. But uh, again, I hope you were blessed. 
Um, Dana, I hope you um, got this lesson and uh, that you were blessed as well. Let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you. Thank you for this opportunity coming for you. Humbly, we know how um, in the gleaning of your word in this uh, scripture study. We pray that the word will fall with clarity, falling down the souls of your children, speaking of everlasting life. Cause us to have the spirit of study, that we may study to show ourselves approved on you, a workman that need not be ashamed, rightly divide the word of truth. We even believe you for this, and we thank you to dispatch your angel protection about us, even in our loved ones, as we continue to seek your face in these last evil days. We'll be careful to give you praise and honor, not only now, but forevermore in the matchless name of Yahushua Hamashiach. When we pray, hallelujah, hallelujah, and all, oh, man. Y'all want to do Q&A for a little bit? Let's get it in. Um, all you got to do is dial 302 202 1102 extension 815648. Again, 302 202 1102 extension 815648. If you're a supporter of this ministry um, and you'd like to sow into it, we'd appreciate it. Um, we just love on folks and keep preaching truth, so we'd like to believe anyway. And um, if you want to support, all you got to do is have a cash app. And you use the cash app and just use my first and last name. Put in the dollar sign and my first and last name. Yahoo to Israel. Y-A-H-U-D-A-H-Y-I-S-R-A-E-L. Uh, dollar sign, Yahoo to Israel. Thanks for you sowing into the ministry in advance. And may the most high continue to bless you. Y'all be Baruch and Baruch Shalom. I'm gone.